Wi-Fi 6 is the newest and fastest version of Wi-Fi, but this year there's something new called Wi-Fi 6E that promises to take Wi-Fi 6 to a whole new level. Now, what does that mean exactly? I'll explain. First, Wi-Fi 6 is the newest version of the 802.11 wireless standard that we commonly call Wi-Fi. The last generation was 802.11ac, but the new 6th generation is 802.11ax. Now that's not easy enough for consumers to keep track of, so the Wi-Fi industry decided to brand the new 6th gen standard as Wi-Fi 6. Simple enough, right? Wi-Fi 6 is better because it's designed to send data to multiple places at once in a way that's a lot more efficient than before. Imagine that your router is a busy bartender, and that all of the devices on your network are thirsty patrons who are all trying to order drinks at once. Now imagine that the bartender suddenly grows an extra set of arms. He's able to make multiple drinks at once and serve multiple customers at the same time. It's super impressive. That's Wi-Fi 6 in a nutshell. It makes for routers that are really, really good at multitasking. And then there's speed. Wi-Fi devices translate radio waves into chunks of binary code using a trick called Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, or QAM for short. And Wi-Fi 6 routers are a lot better at it than before. Older Wi-Fi 5 routers are capable of 256 QAM, which allows them to send 8 digits of binary code with each transmission. Wi-Fi 6 raises that to 1024 QAM, which means that Wi-Fi 6 routers can send 10 digits of binary at a time. Now that might sound like a small change, but it's a big part of the reason why Wi-Fi 6 can move data around about 30% faster than Wi-Fi 5. So faster top speeds, better multitasking, that's what you get with Wi-Fi 6. But what exactly is Wi-Fi 6E? For starters, the E in 6E stands for expanded. Until now, Wi-Fi devices could only operate in the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, but an FCC vote changed that and opened up the 6 gigahertz band too. So Wi-Fi 6E devices are the only ones that can operate in all three bands, not just the first two. The new 6 gigahertz band is the biggest of all. It operates like a major expressway with room for lots and lots of traffic all at once. That's what you get with Wi-Fi 6E. With a Wi-Fi 6 router and Wi-Fi 6 devices on your network, your home will have the fastest possible version of Wi-Fi. And your older generation Wi-Fi devices will still be able to connect just like always because Wi-Fi 6 is totally backwards compatible with previous versions of Wi-Fi. You got lots of devices to choose from at this point, including the newest iPhones and Samsung Galaxy devices. But if you're waiting for Wi-Fi 6E, we're not gonna see the first routers that support it until the end of 2020, with more devices slated to follow in 2021.